Emily shot me in the back while I was walking away. If someone shot you... Emily. So you didn't try to kill yourself? No, Emily shot me in the back, and then she pushed my body over a cliff. Come on, Jennifer, if I wanted to kill myself, do you think that I would aim here? Your dad was right. Yes, he was. But your fingerprints were, were on the gun. I put them there because I didn't want Emily to go to jail because it was... It was all my fault. Your fault? What? It was New Year's Eve and we were supposed to get married and all I could think about was what you had said to me. You said I should, I should think about somebody else. And I did. I, I, I kept thinking about how much Emily had given up to be with me and what she'd have to give up to stay with me. So I told her we couldn't get married. So Emily shot you on New Year's Eve and now she has Dusty. Yes. And that proves what she's capable of. She's capable of more than... Uh, the, no, is, no, this makes no sense. It makes no sense. It does... It does make sense. I'm trying to explain well, it to you. Well, you know what? I don't care. All I care about is finding Dustin. That's all I care about. That's why I married Emily. Emily, who shot you? Yes! Ah! Stop. <laughs> no, Where, you can't. No. You can't go. You can't go to Emily now. Why? Because... She doesn't know that we're on to her yet. Who, we? Who's we? Well, me and Meg, and, well, and you now. Yeah, that's not company that I care about. You keep. cannot go straight at Emily. Why? Why? Because she's going to shoot at me? She could, yes. You know what? I'll take my chances. Well, look, are you going to take chances with Dusty's life? Because that's what you're doing. If you go right at Emily and she feels the walls closing in, there's no telling what she's going to do to your boyfriend, Dusty. And now you're married to her. Because Emily has Dusty, and this is the best chance we have of finding out where. That's the only reason I have anything to do with Emily. And because, miraculously, you've managed to fall in love with Meg Snyder. Yeah, Meg is amazing. Who had Dusty's bloody clothes in her car. Because Emily planted them there. Uh, how am I, why am I supposed to believe that? How do I know that Meg didn't take Dusty? How do I know that the two of you aren't in this together to get rid of Emily, and you're just because using Dusty to do it? Because if I wanted to get rid of it? Emily, all I would have to do is go to the cops and show them where Emily shot me. I could have done that months ago. Look, I know that if I don't bring Dusty home to you, that, that I'm as good as dead to you. You know what, Paul? If Dusty doesn't come home, you're dead, period. I will see to that. Which is the second worst thing that could ever happen to me. It's almost as bad as if you cut me out of your life. Now, why would I do anything that would risk either one of two of those two things happening? I, I, I don't know. I don't know, Paul, because this is all pretty twisted to me. Well, Jennifer, look, we're, we're going to work this out. We're going to straighten it all out. Okay, so she, she has him hostage somewhere why and she's scared and she's not thinking straight and now she's using dusty to try and frame meg if emily wants to get rid of meg it's not enough to have her just arrested she's going to want her convicted and sent to prison for life emily wants meg gone and she will do anything including kill dusty to make that happen ex killed my boyfriend because she's Jennifer, jealous you want of me to your feel new worse? girlfriend do you think i could possibly feel any more responsible than i already do I would do anything to make this right, including marry Emily. Well, then what, what do we do? What do we do? We can't wait for the miraculous moment when Emily finally decides to tell you where Dusty is. I, I don't know. That was the plan, yes. Well, we, we don't have time for that. Dusty. Mm -mm. No, there has to be another way. There. Henry. Henry. Henry, he, he doesn't know where no. Dusty is. I just spent hours trying to get him to talk. But that's what he may, he didn't want to tell you. But if we if we bring him down to the police station and we get my dad to talk to him, oh right, because Hal is so reasonable and detached when it comes to Emily. Come on, Henry doesn't know anything, and and and, and parading Henry through the police station isn't going to make Emily feel any more safe. So what? So what? I told you the only thing that's really important well, here is that Emily not panic. That's it. No, why? Why? Because she's gonna run straight to Dusty. She is. That's what we need. That's exactly what we need. Yeah, we wind her up and then I follow her. No, we follow her. No, you're not going anywhere near Emily. She's too dangerous. Why? Because she shoots, but only at you. I'm not taking chances with you, Jennifer. That is not your call. I am, I'm looking out for Dusty. Jennifer! No, the, the, the last time the two of you were in a room together, you almost killed each other, right? That part was true. You got into a well, fight. Yeah, but... Well, then I'm going. Now all we have to do is figure out how to rattle Emily's cage. I haven't... Oh. Hey, it's me. I only have a minute. Meg, you can't call here. Emily could answer the phone. She just left here. Emily was at the police station. Yeah, meeting with Tom. Daniel? I don't know. I look more official than that. Wh whatever it was, she was pretty freaked. Oh, no. Look, don't worry about me. I have armed guards. You're the one she can hurt. I can handle Emily. 
Well, she's liked it so far. I saw Jennifer. Thanks for dealing with her. Yeah, she wanted to wring my neck and yours. Well, she still may. But now she understands the situation. We have a plan. I think this whole thing could be over pretty soon. I gotta go, Emily. So... Be careful. Uh, I'll call you when I can. Where have you been? I have been holding my breath. I've been counting the minutes. Why? Because I missed you so much. Oh, that's, that's so nice. I'm, I'm sorry. I've got some things to do. I'll oh, catch up with you at... Is the honeymoon over so soon? What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing, really. I just have errands to run. I didn't get a chance to do it this morning. Something so... more important than spending the whole day in bed with me? Yes. I mean, no. Wow. I didn't mean to interfere with your very busy schedule. I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Listen, let me just run these errands, and I will see you at dinner. I promise. I gotta go. Let me just no, go. No, 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 look, I can't, I can't, I can't let you run out of here. And you're just, you're making this so hard well, yeah, for me, really. Yeah, that's the whole point, please. Uh, one little drink. Okay, one. Quick drink. Great. Okay. Fingerprints will stick a long, long time. Just be careful not to smudge them. Oh, I will definitely be careful. Can I stick these in 10 different places so Tom will find Meg Snyder's fingerprints and 10 pieces of evidence? Oh, uh, could you get that? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Hello? Emily, it's Jen. I need to speak to Paul right away. Honey, what is it? Are you okay? I'm great. It's the best news I could get, um, but I'm, I'm scared too. What? What is it? It's the answer to my prayers. He's alive. What? Dusty is alive. Well, we, we all hope so. No, you don't understand. That's the miracle. I know he's alive. Dusty called me. I just spoke to Dusty. He's alive. Can you believe it? it that, that, that's incredible. <laughs> It, that's a miracle. Did he say where he was? No, just that he had been kidnapped, but he somehow got away. Kidnapped? Wow, that, that, that's incredible. That, that, that's really, that's unbelievable. I guess that explains why he's been missing so long. Did, did he say who'd done this to him? I have no idea. We got cut off. But at least I know that he's alive, and he'll tell us the rest when we find him. Jennifer, how, how are you going to find him? I, I mean, how are you going to find him if he, if he didn't tell you where he was? The police. They're tracing the call. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Um, I'm gonna wait here in my suite. They said that they would call as soon as they had word. Is Paul there? Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Paul! No, you know what? I think he um, ran, ran out to pick something up at the store. I'll give him the message. Okay, but tell him not to call. I don't want to tie up the line. I'll call him as soon as I hear something. You got it. We'll do. And, and Jennifer, uh, I, I'm so happy for you. Well, I won't really believe it until he's home, but just to hear his voice, I can't tell you what it meant. Yeah, I, I, I can imagine. I'll be sure to give Paul the message, Jennifer. Bye. Who's that? What? On the phone just now? Who? Em? What? Who was on the phone? Uh, no one. No, real. I was some guy solicitor wanting us to consolidate all of our debts. I told him we didn't have any debts. We don't have any debts, do we? No, no, free and clear. Free and clear, that's what I, that's what I said. Yeah, We're free and me. clear. We got the whole of our lives ahead of us. Celebrate our wedding. Yeah. What is, why are you so jumpy? You know what, I'm not, I'm just, I'm really tired. I didn't sleep much last night. Oh, look, if you're tense, let's see if there's something I can't do about that. Sweetheart, listen, I will hold you to this, really. I, 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 you can do that for me when I get back. Where are you going? Um, which champagne without caviar? I'm going to run and grab my bag. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna run down and grab a little jar and, and some of those candles that you like so much. Look at the, we got a million candles no, here. No, but those are the ones you like. Oh, no, look, I don't, I don't need candles. I just, I just want to hold you. Yeah, and I want to hold you. I do, and and we will hold each other when I get back. I gotta run, just real quick. No. Paul. You're not running out on me. I'm not letting you. I'll be right back. Emily, you're lying to me, and I know why. 
lying. You know I love caviar. Yeah, no, I know you do, but that's not why you're rushing out. No, of I'm here, rushing out of here so I can rush right stop. back and be with you. Emily, stop, will you? Look, we know each other too well to go on pretending like this. And there's something wrong. What is it? Nothing. Okay? Nothing. When I get back, we're going to take a long, hot bath and just talk, and then we'll make love, mm. and we'll just be together, and everything's going to be okay. Last night, you had a hissy fit because I wanted to drive my sister home, and now you want to rush out of here? No. There's something that you're hiding from me. And I know what it is. It's Meg. You still haven't forgiven me. And I don't know what else to tell you. All right?